All right, folks, we're going to try this. I got these new microphones I bought. I posted the one video of the Ear Rage uh, exhaust. Didn't sound too good. So what I have is I have one of the microphones um, on my shirt right here. Hopefully you can hear me. And I have the other microphone in the trunk. Hopefully it'll tone that exhaust down a little bit. Um, this is going to be the last ride of the Mustang. Um, I'll explain that in a future video coming out, what I mean by that. The Mustang is going to, the Mach 1 is going to uh, be going to a new home. So this will be the last ride right here. We're going to go ahead and back her out and take her for her last ride. All right, folks, hopefully you can hear my voice okay. And hopefully the other microphone is picking up the exhaust without it being too overwhelming. Like I said, I put the microphone in the trunk. Hopefully it'll tone it down. Now that last video I posted, the exhaust is a little um, over the top, I should say. Um, the exhaust on this car really does sound like that, just not so, um, I, I don't know what the word to say is, um, crappy, I guess. But you get it about 2,500 and the exhaust really opens up and it's really just sounds awesome. So anyways, I've got my co-pilot, which is my son here. Um, he's going to be filming for me. And we're just going to take her for one last ride. And then the car is going to sit in my garage until it's picked up to go to its new, um, its new owner. We'll just say that. It ha has a new owner. Or it will have a new owner shortly. So hopefully the sound's okay. You know, I can get some, hopefully some halfway decent audio. I'm hoping. That's the goal anyways. If not, well, I apologize to you and apologize to myself too. I usually don't get on my car too hard. I'm not going to give it all she has today. But I'm definitely going to give it a little more than I have in the past. Because when you want her to run, she'll run. Now all we have around here is 91 octane, so I do have the uh, Klotz um, octane booster in the tank. You add one ounce per gallon, and that'll increase it. I believe it's 2.5 octane points, or three octane points, something like that. I think it's 2.5, so that'll get us up to that 93, 93 and a half. Um, Octane. You could run in a 91, but you know, why not just, uh, I think it's 70 bucks a gallon for that uh, Klotz Octane Booster. Get the Octane where it needs to be, and like I say, it's only an ounce per gallon. All right, folks, we're going to pull out here and get on the highway. Like I say, I, I really hope that these microphones are doing their job. If not, I'm going to have to send them right back where they came from, which is China. eBay, China.
carry the RPMs, try to get some good uh, exhaust popping and notes in here. I don't know what that Challenger has under the hood, but I guarantee you he don't want that. Get the dash area, it's okay. I'll try to get the dash, the RPMs a little bit. That's just light throttle, folks. I got that car in front of me, I can't go anywhere. I'm just trying to make some good noises for everyone. go to the end of the highway here to where the roundabout is. We got a pretty good hill there. We'll pull the hill coming up. Should be able to get some good exhaust tones uh, pulling that hill with the car under a little bit of load. We got a pedestrian here on the side of the highway. Get the air conditioner here. We do have the AC on, you can see. It's ice cold. Go ahead and get the dash, show them the temperature. Show them it's all running nice and cool. Alright. Alright folks, I got the co-pilot trying to do the best he can to, you know, get the whole cabin area and, you know, kind of outside the windshield. It's kind of hard. But he's trying to do what he can. Well, that AC's cold, isn't it? Would you say this is the coldest AC we have in any of our vehicles? Yeah, he's shaking, yes. He doesn't want to talk. is way too cold. We'll put it on regular AC. Why that exhaust sounds good in this car. You know, another reason I can't keep this car um, I'd probably wind up in jail, like my first speeding ticket ever, and it would probably be double the speed limit, probably mandatory trip to jail, and probably impound the car. I don't ever speed, folks. I think it drives my wife crazy. I set to cruise control. If it's 65, I go 65. If she nudges me a little, Maybe I'll, I'll set it at 67, 68. That's it. I, I never speed. I never have a speeding ticket, but 
when you get behind the wheel of a car like this, man, you just you just want to drive it. I have. We're probably going to see my wife heading home on this road. So I think she's heading home about now. We'll probably catch her. I have to see if she's being a good girl and she has her headlights on like she's supposed to. I already know she will. I've got my headlights on. We're on a two-lane road here. Here, I guess we can show you the passing power here. Once we get up to the uh, passing, passing lane here, we'll see if we can zip around these cars. I'm not going to go down to uh, third gear or anything, but I'll drop her down to fourth gear and let the supercharger work a little bit. Shit, 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 there's rocks thrown up on me. Gotta stay away from these guys, god damn it. Okay. Well, as you can see, there's a pile up up there. <laughs> I wasn't gonna <laughs> try to go around all that. That wasn't full throttle. She runs ice cold. I mean, you can, you know, really let that supercharger work. And with the uh, intercooler on here, she stays nice and cool. They got to keep a decent distance, otherwise they'll throw up rocks and debris and everything else. If my son doesn't know it, but he does now because he's sitting next to me, I think when we get up here, I'll go ahead and switch seats with them and I'll I'll let him drive it home. That way he'll get one last one last chance to drive it. That way he can remember it. You don't want to? I'll film you driving. Yeah, I think so. Come on. Yeah. Well, if you change your mind, we'll do that. If not, I'll drive it home. Yeah, I, I think you should drive it one last time. I don't know, he's talking in some cryptic sign language. See folks, all these people should have their headlights on. We're on a two-lane road. And not only are we on a two-lane road, and it's, you know, a good practice to have your headlights on on a two-lane road so you can see cars as they're coming if you're going to pass or a car's pulling out. But in some states, it's actually the law. And in this stretch of road right here, it is the law, and they do have signs. But you know, I, I even see cops flying down here, and they don't they don't even follow the law. So I always do. I've got the lights on. Wow. Well, let's see if we can get around this. I'm not going to tell you how fast I got her right there, but uh, I think technically, technically that might be the uh, point where uh, you don't drive away with the ticket. Let's just say that. Of course, you know. We're on a close course, as you can tell. Well, I really want to catch that uh, Challenger and blow its doors off, but I'm too old for that. 
and I can't blow this engine up. This thing, this thing's going to a new home. <laughs> So now's your chance. You wanna you wanna drive it home? All right, I'm gonna let him drive it home. All right, folks, we got my son in the driver's seat. He's still a, he's still a bit of a newbie on a manual. I taught him how to drive a stick on the '94 Vortex Supercharged Mustang, and hopefully he can he can nail this uh, dead stop up here. Push your clutch in. Push your clutch in and brake. Okay, turn your blinker on. Okay, you're safe. Go. Let it out slowly and go. Wait, wait. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Clutch in, clutch in. But right, I got to give him directions. We're going we're gonna to wait for the semi truck. People behind you can wait. Yeah, I, I've got to give the kid directions. Right after this, let the clutch out and go. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go through the gears. Do what you need to do. Whoa. Look at him. Go through them gears. Easier on the clutch, okay? Folks, you can definitely tell she's got a good clutch in her, that's for sure. All right, go ahead. There you go. He's a little nervous, folks. He hasn't driven a stick in a long time. And he doesn't have that much experience on it. But I think after seeing this, um, you know, I could I could uh, have him, I think, get in a manual car. I think he could drive it fine. He's doing fine. Especially, you know, like a stock vehicle. He'd have no trouble at all if he's handling this one. What do you think, Buck? You're doing good? You're doing just fine. Yeah, he's not going to hot dog it or anything. He's just going to cruise it. Well, folks, we're going to head home. The wife's on her way home. We're going to have some homemade uh, homemade hamburgers from uh, beef that we bought. Here, slow down. Let this car go so we don't get rock chips, okay? Just stay in fifth gear. You're fine. Yeah, just, just let it go. Just coast. There you go. You can get on a little bit. Actually, what we'll do is when we come to the passing zone, you can... Hold on. You don't, you don't have to downshift yet. Yeah, just stay here. You're perfect. We'll just cruise. But folks, see everything runs good. To the new buyer who's probably going to watch this video, you can see she runs good. This is the coldest AC I've ever had in my life. We've got a cat here on there. But anyways, the wife's uh, gonna whip up some uh, burger patties from the meat we get from the local rancher. I think she puts an egg in them and all kinds of seasonings and maybe some put the butt onion mix. I'm not sure, but they're really good. And we're going to determine if she's going to cook them on the George Foreman or maybe I'll go in the backyard and cook them on the grill. But anyways, I'm going to let the kid drive. We're going to go home. We're going to put this car in the garage. It's going to stay there until the... Uh, until the uh, auto transport, however it's going, comes to pick her up, takes her to her new home. And uh, I've got another video made on why I decided to sell this car. It's kind of heartbreaking, guys. It's it's kind of a dream car for me. But at the same time, I explained why I got rid of it. It's not because I'm not a true car enthusiast. It's not because, you know, I've given up on it or 
I, I watch other videos, you know, when people decide to sell a car like this, and I read the comments. Um, it just makes sense for me at this point in my life. You know, I've enjoyed the car. I can say I had it. It's time to go on to a new home. And anyways, I made a whole video on that. I'll post that later. But uh, yeah, this is the last ride. And to the new owner, don't worry. It's going in the garage and being locked up until your guy comes to pick her up. Alright. Y'all be good. Hopefully this microphone will work. Catch you next time.